Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be solving the lead code question reverse linked list. Alright, so in this question we're going to be given the head of a singly linked list and the goal is to reverse the list and then well return the reverse list. So the question itself is really simple and the way it works is let's say we have 1 points to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5. So in that case we reverse it which is 5 points to 4, 4 points to 3, 3 to 2 and 2 to 1. That's it. So now let's see how we can actually solve this question. So let's say, for example, we have 1 points to 2, 2 points to 3, 3 points to 4, and just to be more clear, 4, since it's the last element, it's now going to point to none. Now all we need to do is reverse it. So when you think about it, it's really simple. All we really have to do is we go to the last element, which is, well, 4, and we point it to the previous element. That's it. 4 points to the previous element, 3, 3 points to its previous element, 2, and 2 points to its previous element, 1. And now 1 is kind of a special case. Uh, essentially what would happen is, well, now 1 is the ending. So now 1 is going to point to none. So essentially after reversing it, the head node is going to become 4, which points to 3, 3 which points to 2, 2 points to 1, and 1 points to uh, none. Right? So that's going to be how we reverse it. And we're going to do it the exact same way as what I just uh, uh, said. Okay, so, but now let's just see how we can do it more clearly and kind of in a more step-by-step -step way. Okay, so I'm first going to do an iterative solution because I think it's a lot easier to understand to start off with. Okay, so the way we're going to do this is, well, we're going to be given the head and the head is, well, this node over here, one. But one thing we're going to do is we're going to have another variable called current or just cur. And this is going to keep track of the current node we're on, okay? Now, I'll kind of explain why we need to have current and head, okay? So to start off, current is going to have a value of head. That's going to be the first step. So in the beginning, current is going to be equal to 1. And let's also keep track of the value of head. Oh, sorry about that. So head in the beginning is also, well, in this case, going to be 1. Cool. So now we have these two elements to keep track of. So the first thing that happens is current is 1 and head is 1. And now we're actually going to have another variable and we're going to call this previous, okay? And the purpose of previous is that it's going to keep track of the previous node. And this is the node which the current node is now going to point to. In other words, we said that now in this case, 4 has to point to its previous node, 3. So in that case, 3 becomes the previous node and 4 is going to be pointing to that 3. And in this case, 4 would be the current node, okay? So this is exactly how we're going to do it, okay? So what is the value of previous going to be in the beginning? And the answer to that is none, okay? Because the first node now becomes the last node. So now it's going to be pointing to none, right? Because it's the last node, okay? So that's about it. So let's see what this looks like in the first iteration. So like I said, first current is equal to head. And now I'm going to show you why this actually matters. So let's say now we point one to previous, which is, well, none. In this case, the, uh, uh, what it was pointing to earlier is going to break out. But now, 1 points to none. Now, we have no way to go to 2, right? So essentially, what we want to do is 1 points to none, and then 2 points to 1, and so on. But now, we, we're unable to go to 2 because we made the connection from 1 to none. So essentially, current is going to kind of be like a placeholder value. So uh, in that case, we're going to move head to the next node, so we still have this connection intact, right? Before one points to none, before that it was pointing to two, okay? So that's kind of the purpose of uh, the current variable, okay? So uh, we have that. So now we not got to move the head node to the next one. Like I said, current is going to be pointing to none in this case, but head is going to go to the next uh, node. So let's write that down. So head is now going to be equal to head dot next, okay? And let's do that. So now head was at one, but now we're going to move it to two. Okay, perfect. So head is now at 2. And now the next thing we got to do is the current node we're on is going to be pointed to whatever the previous node is. Like I said, 1 now points to none. And that means that this connection over here breaks out, okay? 1 is not pointing to 2, it's pointing to none. So let me write that step clearly. So current dot next is now going to point to whatever the previous node is. And finally, now we got to update our previous node. One points to none, but now the previous node is going to become whatever the current node is. And the reason for that is now when we move head to two, right? Two has to uh, point to its previous node, which is well one. So that's it. So this is going to be one complete iteration. Okay, so hopefully you understand it. And now let's just go through the other iterations 
a little bit more faster, okay? So what happens? Current is going to have the value of head. So current now becomes 2. So we're over here for current and head. And now head is going to be equal to head.next. So we move head to 3 right now. And now what happens? Current.next points to the previous node. Okay, so I, I forgot to show this earlier. So earlier, uh, previous node now has a value of 1, right? Okay, so now the 2 is going to point to the previous node value. So 2 points to 1. Okay, perfect. And now we got to update our previous node again. So the previous node is now going to be equal to the current node, which is 2. Okay, and the reason for that is because when we now go to 3, 3 has to point to 2. Okay, okay, so now let's do that. So now the third iteration. So currently, a current is equal to 2, but we got to change current to be equal to head. So now current is at 3. And now we move the head to the next node, which is 4. Okay, perfect. And now we got to point current.next to the previous element. So 3 is now going to point to 2. So 3 points to 2, and essentially this connection breaks off. Okay, so now 3 points to 2, and now we need to update previous. So previous is now going to become the current node's value, which is 3. That's it. So now the fourth iteration. So right now, uh, current is going to be now going to become 4, the value of head. And now head, we move it to the uh, next node, which is none in this case, okay? So now head moves to none, okay? And at this point, the previous node was 3, cool. And that's what we got to point current dot next to that value. So 4 is now going to point to 3, and it's not going to be pointing to none, okay? Cool. So we have this, and now what do we have left? Now we got to update our previous node. So previous is now going to equal to the current node of 4. And now we actually stop. And the reason we're stopping here is because head has a value of none. And what that means is this is where head is. And that means that we've reached the ending. We've already reversed all of the elements that we have. And as you can see, we're done with it, right? So this is what our uh, final result is going to be like. So 4 points to 3, 3 to 2, 2 to 1, and 1 to none. So that's it. So this is going to be our solution. And these steps over here are going to be exactly what we write in the code. There's nothing else, okay? So yeah, let's just see what this looks like in code, and it's pretty simple. So we're going to start off by defining our variable called previous, and remember in the beginning it's going to have a value of none, because whatever the first node is, is now going to become the last node, and hence it's going to point to none, correct? So in that case, now we go in our while loop, and it's going to be while head is not equal to none, okay? So as long as head has a value which is not none, we go in this, okay? And when head is equal to none, that means, well, we've reached the ending and we're done. Cool. So now we do the exact same four steps that I defined over here, the exact same thing. Okay, so we're going to have current equal to head, okay? Now we got to move head to the next node. So head is equal to head.next. Cool. Now what we need to do is we got to do current.next, and we got to point it to whatever the previous node is. So the first time, this is going to be pointing to none. But now for the second time, we don't want it to be pointing to none. We want to point it to whatever the current node is. And the way we do that is by updating previous to be equal to the current node. So that's about it. And now what we need to do is we need to return the head of this uh, reverse linked list. Okay, so in the beginning, now so what exactly is this going to be? So this is actually not going to be head. We're not going to return head because head is going to have a value of none. Because whenever head becomes none, we break out the while loop. Instead, what we're going to be returning is going to be the node previous. Okay, because Previous is always going to be the new head after reversing it. So previous is going to be at the very ending. So in this case, previous is going to be at 4, and that's going to be the new head of the reversed linked list. And one thing to notice is that this is all happening in place. So it's going to be constant space. Okay, and so that's what we return. We return the node previous since that's the new head. So let's submit this, and this should be it. So thanks a lot for watching, guys, and do let me know if you have any other questions.